Okay, people, this is my dragon fruit. I don't know what cultivar it is, but it's supposed to be red inside. So this year, I got a couple out of it. This is one of them. Uh, I picked it the other day, so that way I won't get my sh stolen because I got a couple of my fruit stolen. So here we go. My wife's going to take over. Ready for the big picture? Voila! Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful red. And you know what? The funny part is that most people think that the red uh, dragon fruit are small. But here's an empty bottle right next to this one. Look at that. Look at how big this is. How big the sucker is. Uh, I didn't get a chance to weigh it, but let's see how sweet it is. Look, look at that coloring. No, we'll take a picture later. Look at the coloring of this fruit. Oh my God, that's like amazing. It's kind of give me some uh, purple lipstick. I eat this. Now, time for the the money shot. Look at this. It comes off on its own. Look at that. I didn't even have to do that. Look, oh, look at the, see, look at the coloring. It's not a disappointment. It's like sugar. Here's probably the sweetest dragon fruit I had in a long time. It's actually more sweeter than the white Vimmies dragon fruit that I normally eat in Vietnam. In Vietnam, the white dragon fruit tastes a little bit more sour, a little bit tart to it, but this here is pure, pure sugar. I'm sorry, people. I don't have it one of those fancy, fancy bricks machine. I can tell you what bricks this is, but this is a lot sugar, a lot better and most dragon fruit that I have tasted. And the funny part is, I think pollinate this. It pollinate on its own. I don't know how to pollinate my dragon fruit, so I haven't learned that yet, but this one pollinate by itself. So look at it, look how big it is. And I have a big face. Look, look at this, beautiful. Okay.